Welcome back to my channel. In the box in front of me is one of the currently most desired, most rare and most special lenses the photography world has to offer. And I'm going to unbox this lens now in the next minutes. I will mount the lens on my Leica M10R and I will share my first thoughts. Let's kick off the video. Let's now open the box and let's see what's inside. Looking inside from the top, we see the usual silver color coming out and the outer box you actually don't need. There is no value in keeping it. The inner box is what you want to keep if you're a collector. So I'm going to open this with a bit more violence here and then just trashing it. Now looking at what's written on the box, we have the Noctilux M widest open aperture 1.2, 50mm aspherical lens. Normally Leica lenses come in these kind of boxes here and they are supposed to be opened up from the top. This here is differently designed. If you look at that, it's also supposed to be opened from the top, but the design looks like some of the Leica camera packages where everything unfolds as soon as you opened it. And that's here the case too, it unfolds in the same way as we know it from camera packages. So in other words, the packaging here as we found it in the paper box is actually misleading because you think you get the same kind of lens as what you usually get when you buy a Leica M series lens, but here it unfolds and then in all of its beauty shows the original design of the original Noctilux M 1 to 1.2 50 millimeter aspherical lens. When I say original packaging and when you feel the excitement I have when opening this box, so what's the hype about that lens? And what you see here is the original lens with its original packaging. And the lens was produced between 1966 and 1975 and was the first lens to feature aspherical lens elements worldwide. So a clear novelty in optical properties of lenses and in photography in general. Leica originally produced 1757 units of this very special Noctilux lens and they came almost all in a black finish but a handful of them so-called prototypes came in a silver chrome design. And clearly these prototypes or silver chrome Noctilux from these years back then they belong to the most expensive lenses in the world. But also the standard version of these back then Noctilux lenses are super expensive if you want to buy them secondhand. So I just looked it up here at eBay and found one offer, $63,000 is what's advertised here. And that's clearly a proud price for a collector's piece. And interestingly enough, even the lens hood only for these standard lenses from 1966 to 1975 trade uh, secondhand items for almost $7,000. Whether these sellers at eBay really achieve these price tags, I have no idea, but clearly it looks insane to pay $6,900 for a lens hood, which is the price of a typical Leica lens as you can purchase them today in a Leica store. Now in 2021, Leica came back and reintroduced this legendary lens to the market so you can purchase them now. You see here as an example Leica Store Miami. The black version which is the standard version is not a limited edition and it can be pre-ordered and some people also got it already by now. And then there is a limited edition in this legendary silver chrome design which is strictly limited to 100 lenses worldwide and as you see here is already sold out. And that story continues Leica Store New York Soho sold out Leica store Singapore, so no matter if you go to APEC or stay in the US or go to Europe, this lens is sold out because the demand in pre-orders was so high, in particular for the special limited edition, that these lenses are by now no longer available. After a little excursion into the history of these Noctilux lenses and also of course into the basic principle of supply and demand, let's get back to the box. And you see the box is designed in the same way as the original box these decades ago. And here is, by the way, a sketch of the lens elements. If we turn this around by 90 degrees, we get some German writing here. First of all, the address of Leica camera, but then the bold print writing here says Das Wesentliche. And that means translated into English, the essential, which I think is the philosophy, the basic principle Leica is underlying all gadgets they bring to market, focusing on the essential, minimalistic design, but top-notch quality. If you look at the lens from this side, 
we see here the lens in another sketch and we also get the writing of what lens we are talking about and on this side you only see made in Germany which typically in the world stands for quality and on the top of the box you find the Lights Wetzlar logo. Let's now open the box and let's see what's inside. And I will try to turn this a little bit without risking that things accidentally drop out of the box and it seems there is a first layer here and that first layer carries two elements or two pieces here and the first one if you have a look at that clearly looks to me like a rear lens cap and I should say it's the first time I see a rear lens cap in a silver chrome finish on a Leica lens. If you have seen this before why don't you drop me a comment I've not seen it even the classical Noctilux 50mm f0.95 has the normal plastic rear lens cap and not some with a metal finish. So that's new it looks of course highly valuable and really nice and we'll have a look how this looks on the lens when it is mounted. The second element here clearly is a lens hood and that lens hood has the engraving lights Wetzlar Germany which is what we also saw on the packaging or the box and it's something they like to engrave in special edition lenses and cameras and we've seen this in the past it's quite nice on the other side of the lens hood you find the specs of the lens a spherical lens 50 mm 1.2 widest open aperture quite nice it also has a significant weight so this is really solidly built and looks very very nice to me let's get out that layer here there's nothing more to show or to say here and then looking inside we get some paperwork here let's get this out so first of all we have the usual instructions here there is a warranty card and here we have checks and balances where people from Leica signed up that this lens has been checked and very diligently assembled and uh, then is shipped of course to the retailer. And then the last piece in that box is a clear lens container in the same way as what you saw on that image from eBay where I shared with you that secondhand sales of the Noctilux lens in black back from uh, the 1960s and um, that looks really good. As most of you know Leica typically ships these lenses with leather pouches in order to protect them. This is kind of a different style and clearly if you don't use the lens you might want to have it on a shelf, have it solidly placed on that shelf and then people can see the lens in all its beauty through that clear container here. It's screwed on, it's very solid, nothing can drop off here, looks really good. And uh, if you look at the elements of that clear lens container, we have the Leica logo engraved here at the bottom. And on the top, we also have the Leica logo here, which is quite nice. So I think this is really a nice design. Again, something unusual in the same way as that metal finish rear lens cap. And uh, I should say I like it a lot here. Now let's try to unscrew this very carefully. I'll do my best not to drop it. And well, this is again screwed on. So the lens is from the rear side screwed to the bottom part of that clear lens container. And you could basically say this is a rear lens cap in a very special way, but clearly we need to unscrew it now. And then we get here the rear lens cap in that metal finish. We screw it firmly on and that's it. Welcome to the new Noctilux M 50 mm F 1.2 aspherical lens. I think it looks very very good here is the lens cap from the front side and if we look inside it says Lights Wetzlar E49 that's the filter size it says Noctilux M and here it says 1 to 1.2 50 aspherical lens and then there is some serial number or whatever that is quite nice let's have a closer look at that lens enjoy what I prepared for you I hope you enjoyed these impressions from the new Noctilux and before I mount that lens now on my Leica M10R I want to make a few more remarks. First of all that lens hood here is really unusually large. 
for Leica M lenses. And I'm going to mount this in a second. As I said, it's solidly built, but it's really large. And uh, the second observation is it will not fit over the lens cap here. So you have to remove the lens cap and then you can mount the lens hood. So you push these two buttons here and then it fits nicely and clicks in. So that's nice. It's a very nice finish you have here. It looks really good, but it is unusually big on the lens hood side here. The second remark I wanna make is that this lens cap here fits very, very well on the lens and it is very firm. It needs significant force applied to that lens cap and the lens to actually get these two disconnected. And that's unusual because very often these lens caps in a metal design on Leica M lenses, they sit okay, but not as firm as I see it here. You see me here applying significant force and then it drops off. That's good because that means it cannot accidentally go off the lens, which I actually appreciate. And then the last point I wanted to make is this is one of three new classic lenses or remakes of classic lenses from Leica. And another one is this one here, which is the Sumeron M and its widest open aperture is in 5.6, 28 millimeters. I have shown this lens before on my channel and this is the second classic lens and the third one is a Temba lens, which I don't have here, but these are all remakes of very well-known, very famous lenses like I used to produce in the past then stopped producing and then came back with remakes of these lenses. I should also say that the construction and design of that lens is as close as possible to the original from 1960s and the only thing like I improved here is of course optical research has made progress and they clearly invested and injected in that lens the newest standards, the newest insights on how these lenses work best on Leica M series cameras. Let's now mount the new Noctilux on my Leica M10R here. And currently what you see here mounted is the Aposumicron F2.0 is one of the sharpest lenses in the Leica M series lineup. And here, by the way, the lens hood is integrated in the lens. So you can just screw it out and then you have the lens hood out and you can screw it in and then deal done. But uh, now we want to mount the new lens. So let's unmount this one here. Let's also make sure we get a rear lens cap for the upper Sumicron so that this is protected from dust and dirt. Let's get the rear lens cap here off. And then we just mount it in the way we always mount Leica M-series lenses. It snaps in and that's it. And it looks beautiful. Maybe for the sake of completeness, let's also mount the lens hood now. And let's have a look at that. I think this looks really, really good. I really love that view of the classic lens. It's super authentic. It really looks like one of these very rare five lenses from 1966 to 1975 and uh, it has an impressive look of course. What interests me most and clearly almost needless to say is what are the optical properties if I shoot that lens on a 40 megapixel sensor like on the M10R. And what's also interesting is how is it performing on the Leica M10 monochrome. And in the next days I will have some time to shoot this lens. I will look into sharpness, into bokeh and background blurriness. I will look into portraits and I will basically get a full picture of how this new Noctilux for its incredibly high price tag is performing on these top-notch Leica M-series cameras. And then of course I will share them again here on my channel. So I hope you liked that little video and uh, if you liked it, don't forget to drop me a thumbs up. Stay tuned on my channel. There's always more to come. If you want to see exclusive Leica gear, but also many other topics in photography which I'm covering with all kinds of camera brands then the best way is to subscribe to my channel and also click on the little bell to be notified if something new is coming up. Stay safe and healthy and of course peace out.